My name is Carrie Barnes and I'm a 38 year old mother of two boys that keep us very active. I work as a nurse on a cardiac floor. I love my job. I first started to notice that I was having trouble with my joints in July of 2009. Rheumatoid arthritis is a disease that can affect people at any age. When rheumatoid arthritis affects someone, it affects the body internally, principally the joints, but anywhere in the body. It's that disease that results in the pain and swelling and later loss of function because of joint damage if left untreated. When the swelling in my feet and legs got to the point where my shoes weren't fitting properly and I was barely able to wear flip-flops, I knew this was more than just some joint pain. Achy joints, stiff joints, swollen joints, loss of function, these become a persistent problem. That's when you should seek attention. I was feeling depressed about being unable to do my job, take care of my kids, you know, have much of a social life. I was exhausted, I was in pain, I wasn't sleeping. It was like my whole world was changing. It affects simple activities. Waking up in the morning and getting out of bed to go to the bathroom. Dressing oneself. I was confused, didn't know the answer to what was going on. I was angry because there was nothing I could do to fix it. Quality of life in an untreated individual with rheumatoid arthritis can be devastating. The arthritis clinic that I attended has an intake process. They do a head to toe assessment. You come back and they sort of give you, you know, what joints are inflamed, how many, and sort of what stage you're at. Rheumatoid arthritis is a disease which unfortunately can cause structural change to joints that can damage joints. And that damage can occur over weeks or months. So a delay of weeks or months, unfortunately, can leave you with something that can't be changed. So early diagnosis is very important. The lady picked up the phone and called the doctor straight away and said, you really need to see Carrie today. This is at the point where she needs to see somebody today. In managing rheumatoid arthritis, especially as we meet an individual for the first time, it's our objective to provide them with hope. I'm 32. How can I have arthritis? That's a disease for old people. And we can do that because we have so many experiences now of individuals who have gone from a significant level of dysfunction, inability to enjoy their family, their kids, their work, to an ability to return to a normal life with medications but without otherwise any inhibitions. And he looked me straight in the eye and he said, Carrie, you have rheumatoid arthritis and we have a great plan for you. Therapeutic agents or medications that we use to treat rheumatoid arthritis include anti-inflammatories, disease-modifying therapies, corticosteroids or steroids, and the newer products available to us are biologic agents. These are specific medications that have been developed using new technologies that are targeted towards the proteins that have been identified to have an impact on perpetuating that persistent disease of rheumatoid arthritis. There was a piece of me that had a bit of relief and a little bit of hope that maybe, just maybe, my life could start to get better again. In approximately 2000, with the introduction of biologic therapies, there was a whole explosion that allowed rheumatologists to say, and patients to say, there's something that can be done for me. It's the marriage of strategy and appropriate tools that have allowed us to have the ability to provide hope to patients and get them where they want to be, which is how they were before they got their arthritis. Through my treatment and with support through the team that I have at the arthritis clinic, um, I've learned to be able to live a pain-free life, be able to do the things I love to do. Something that was completely changing and destroying my life, I now have control of. And I can share my hopeful story with other people and give them the same hope that I experience. For more information about rheumatoid arthritis, recognizing the early signs, and finding solutions to restore your quality of life, visit these websites.